welcome to WP Event Manager. In this video, we're going to talk about the general settings we have in our Zoom add-ons. So if we select Zoom from over here, go to Settings and switch to General Settings. Then we can see a bunch of settings over here. I'm going to go ahead and explain each one of these in short. So front-end Zoom connection, what it does, if we take this on, it will allow organizer or users on your website to create Zoom meetings from the front end side. We are right now at the back end or admin side. It will let users create meetings from the front end side. So show pass join link. If we take this on, what it will do, it will show the meeting join link on the details. Even if the meeting has been done or the meeting has ended so what it will do it will show the join meeting link even after the meeting has finished or done show zoom author if we tick this on what it will do it will show the original zoom author's name in the meeting details page instead of your uh, instead of the user who created the meeting on wordpress meeting started text so here we can customize like the various text we see in our meeting page. So like start meeting, join meeting and end meeting. We can go ahead and enter appropriate text for here if we want to custom the default text for when the meeting is going to start, when the meeting has been ended. So there's a text for that too. We can customize that. Show on single event. So this tick box will allow us to show the zoom meeting details on a single event page we will talk about this uh, later on like what does this settings actually do when we gonna talk about how to bind a meeting with the event so next we have show on single event sidebar so enabling this will show the zoom meeting details on the sidebar of the single event page so we're gonna talk about these two settings in details in our one of upcoming video zoom meeting dashboard so here we can select a page we have created and we have placed this following short code into zoom meeting dashboard and if we created a page with this short code if we select that over here what it does it binds the meeting dashboard data or page with the page you have created so there's that and submit zoom meeting from so when we have a front-end zoom connection what we need to do we need to create first a page and paste submit zoom meeting from short code in that page and then we can select that page from this drop down and when we save changes it will show a meeting creation form on that particular page from where your organizer or users can create meetings on the front end so these two settings i have just talked about we're gonna talk about them in more details in our next video where we uh, show how to set up short codes and bind them with our zoom add-on so that's it for this video thank you for joining i'll catch you in the next one